also part of the problem that we think of human beings, that human beings have very specific requirements and goals and an understanding of things and how they like to be treated and what their, you know, what their rewards are, like what's, what, what are they actually looking to accomplish? Whereas this doesn't have any of those. It doesn't have any emotions. It doesn't have any empathy. There's no reason for any of that stuff. Yeah. If we could bake in empathy into these systems, like w that would be a good, you know, a good start or some way of like, you know. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Probably a good idea. Yeah. Well, what, who's, who's empathy? Uh, that's, you know, Xi Jinping's empathy or your That's empathy? another problem. That's so, a whole, yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's actually, it's kind of two problems, right? Like one is um, I don't know, nobody knows, like I don't know how to write down my goals in a way that a computer will be able to like faithfully pursue that even if it cranks it up to the max. If I say just like make me happy, who knows how it interprets that, right? Even if I get make me happy as a goal that gets internalized by the system, maybe it's just like, oh, okay, cool. We're just gonna do a bit of brain surgery on you, like pick out your brain, pickle it, and just like jack you with endorphins for the rest of eternity. Or lobotomize you. Totally, yeah, yeah anything like that. Yeah. And, and so it's one of these things where it's like, oh, that's what you wanted, right? It's like. This is no, also, it's it's but, less it's less crazy than it sounds too, because it's actually something we observe all the time with human intelligence. So there's this this economic principle called Goodhart's law, where the minute you take a, a metric that was you were using to measure something, so you're saying like I don't know GDP, it's a great measure of how happy we are in the United States. Let's say it was, um, sounds reasonable. The moment you turn that metric into a target that you're going to reward people for optimizing. It stops measuring the thing that it was measuring before. It stops being a good measure of the thing you cared about because people will come up with dangerously creative hacks, gaming the system, finding ways to make that number go up that don't map on to the intent that you had going in. So example of that in, uh, in a real experiment was uh, this is an open AI experiment that they published. They had a simulated, you know, environment where there was a simulated robot hand that was supposed to like grab a cube, put it on top of another cube. Super simple. The way they trained it to do that is they had people watching like through a simulated camera view. And if it looked like the hand put the cube on or, or like had correctly like grabbed the cube, you give it a thumbs up. And so you do a few hundred rounds of this, like thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs up, thumbs down. And it looked, it looked like really good. But then when you looked at what it had learned, the arm was not grasping the cube. It was just positioning itself between the camera and the cube and just going like, eh, eh. Like opening and, and closing. Its... Yeah, just opening and closing to just kind of fake it to the human. Because the real thing that we were training it to do is to get thumbs up. It's not actually to grasp the cube. Oh. All goals are like that, right? So All goals are like we, that. So we want a helpful, harmless, truthful, wonderful chatbot. We don't know how to train a chatbot to do that. Instead, what do we know? We know text autocomplete. So we train a text autocomplete system. Then we're like, oh, it has all these annoying characteristics. Fuck, how are we going to fix this? Uh, I guess get a bunch of humans to give upvotes and downvotes to give it a little bit more training to kind of not help people make bombs and stuff like that. And then you realize, again, same problem. Oh, shit, we're just training a system that is designed to optimize for upvotes and downvotes. That is still different from a helpful, harmless, truthful chatbot. So no matter how many layers of the onion you peel back, it's just like this kind of game of whack-a-mole or whatever. Where you're trying to like get your values into the system, but no one can think of the metric, the, the goal to like train this thing towards that actually captures what we care about. And so you always end up baking in this like little misalignment between what you want and what the system wants. And the more powerful that system becomes, the more it exploits that gap and does things that you know, solve for the problem it thinks it it wants to solve rather than the one that we want it to solve. Ooh, yeah. Um.